Well, if you have not yet heard of the Good Food Box program, uh, you could be missing out on one of the best deals on produce in Greater Victoria and a different way to think about the food you buy and eat. The program is open to everyone and it takes customers back to the idea of buying fresh and buying only what's in season. It is a simple concept, but it's one that may buckle under the weight of its own success. A News reporter Shachi Curl has the story. Lettuce, cucumber and beets, zucchini and carrots. Fresh, frugal food, the goodness of Vancouver Island, stuffed into the confines of a cardboard box. This represents a revolution in how we buy produce 12 months a year. Um, it really appealed to me that it was fresh and local. They support local farmers, and um, I liked that it was once a month. I, I order four boxes. Sarah Johnson participates in the Good Food Box program, one that pools members' money to buy locally grown, in-season fruits and vegetables. And they all come, and it's this beautiful, bount bounteous, vibrant selection of local veggies and uh, we plan our meals according to what we get. The program started small about a decade ago. Just 12 boxes and a couple of volunteers. It was a group of moms in a local uh, baby group that were complaining about their inability to be able to afford the healthy produce and they decided to start a buying group. Today, the Good Food Box program is a going, growing concern, serving more than 400 families. At $15 a box, it's a steal that doesn't see customers paying supermarket overhead for advertising and marketing, just the farmers who fill the program's orders. Farmers like Terry Mitchell. Oh, buying local, oh, that's the key right there. Uh, you know, without people buying local, you don't have farms, uh, active farms, where you know, there's lots of farms around that's not much is going on on them. It's not just customers who get a break when they buy local. Farmers here on the island take that cash and are instantly able to plow it back into their crops. They're able to pay their workers and invest in growing even more. The program is non-profit, but does rely on some grants. Right now it operates on a budget of less than $24,000 a year. But Good Food Box is turning into too much of a good thing. Tonight, operators will go to Victoria City Hall seeking a $5,000 grant to get through some temporary growing pains. It's a double-edged blessing. We're growing at an alarming rate, and yet at the same time, we have to keep our systems operating at such a level that we can keep bringing in more people without falling apart under the weight of our own success. The grant, just a little extra seed money to keep this program growing strong. In Victoria, Shachi Curl, A News. If you would like to find out more about the Good Food Box program, including how you can sign up, you can call 250-893-7635, or you can send an email to goodfoodbox at fernwoodneighborhood.ca.